Our thriller opening develops conventions of a real thriller product in six main ways. Characters, audio, music and sound, camera shots and angles, lighting, editing and finally setting. Often within a thriller, the general narrative features allow the audience to follow one certain character throughout the concept of the film. Our central figure is the central on focal point of our thriller opening, with the majority of filming focusing on the main character of the plot. An opening of a thriller focuses on one key event which then triggers a series of events which are later shown. An air of intrigue or mystery is usually sent surrounding this particular event. A sense of great mystery is created within our opening scene. Questions of who the strange man is, why he has a large collection of photos and why he is burning a select three are all key questions that would be asked by an audience viewing our film. This reflects how our film conforms with general narrative features of the thriller genre. Furthermore, never within an opening of a film is the opening the main event of the entire thriller. Often it is seen as build up to the rest of the film and as a warm up to the events yet to occur. This is seen in, in films such as The Hunted and Lucky Number Sledden, which we took influence from. Our opening offers a minor taste of what is yet to come, being visually exciting enough to keep the viewers gripped without revealing larger segments of the plot prematurely, which in my opinion can make or break a film opening. One of the most commonly used narrative structures in the thriller genre, genre is an enigma code. It acts as an intriguing way of enticing the audience to follow the narrative as slowly as they progress through the film. They are left to feel as if they are discovering things as the thriller progresses, as well as also building a sense of suspense and drama for the duration of the rest of the film. An enigma narrative involves involves fragments of the narrative which are eventually presented to the audience. They are then left, usually to piece together the actions of the protagonist, connecting as the protagonist also uncovers further steps within the narrative. The role of the main character, often the villain, is established within the opening of a thriller. Different roles may be uncovered. For instance, a murderer was established in the opening scene of Lucky Number Sleven, or within the thriller The Hunted, and these conventions can also be, be viewed in the opening scene of, Bat of the Batman film The Dark Knight Rises, which estab establishes the Joker, the protagonist, in the opening scenes of the film. Often, the opening helps institute any key facets within the main character's own personal traits, which only later on in the thriller become important. These are many personal traits which are frequently used to convey the conventions of a thriller. These facets may seem irrelevant to the audience during the opening, however later on they become seemingly important to building the audience's own understanding of a character. I will now take you through the different aspects of filmmaking and development which form the basis of a conventional thriller opening and how our opening conforms to these multitude of key aspects. Firstly, the shots taken. Often within a thriller, the shots depend highly on the narrative or nature of the plot line of the film. An example of this being a long establishing shot of a particular location. It may seem, harm it may seem a harmless location, as it may be a house for example. However, the use of camera shots in this location, for instance an extremely show slow tracking shot, instantly informs the audience that something bad is going to happen in what seems to be an ordinary situation. This builds the audience's presupposition of the thriller genre. In our thriller opening, a range of key shots were used in order to give the viewer a range of perspectives of the situation and events in hand. We used a range of shots including high angle shot seen here, a long shot, a distant shot where the camera is a long way away from the subject being filmed, a low angle shot, a shot where the camera approaches the sub subject from below eye level. A low angle shot can emphasize the size of the object being filmed and adds to the viewer's perspective. 
It can make the character shown seem big and powerful, and it can make us, or the character we are seeing through, seem small and weak. Another aspect of the conventional thriller opening is the use of key facial features, in particular the eyes of the character, are seen to the audience through either a close-up or medium close-up shot. The use of the eyes are crucial in emphasising the expression of the character, as they may be left with very, very little or no clue as to what is happening, or what is about to happen. In our opening, the close-up form of shot is used to look into the very eyes of the antagonist, which creates a chilling and gripping experience for the viewer, which we feel is key to an opening. Furthermore, the use of glasses gave us a deliberate reflection of the fire in the lenses of the bold black glasses, which not only reflected our antagonist relationship with a major aspect of our opening, but also made the shot visually appealing for our audience. Following on from this, our use of a point of view shot and the start of the op- at the start of the opening gave a look inside the mind of our main character and gave the viewer a true and realistic perception of the antagonist's viewpoint. Furthermore, attention to detail was key. The blurring of the photos in the background gave the viewer a realistic and fuzzy view created by a soft focus shot that the antagonist has through his bold glasses. This was used to enhance a sense of realism and audience involvement in the action. A second development of our opening, which made it develop forms of the thriller genre, was the lighting. In a thriller, The entire lighting is highly dependent on the nature of the film, as thrillers often tend to follow a set structure of conventions. The point of view of the protagonist, usually the villain, follows a dark, confined and close lighting, which track the sights of the individual, if not follow their actions. And this can be seen in the movie Blair Witch. To To launch a series of events within a thriller opening, A main use of lighting highlights the actions of the protagonist, therefore the key component is to establish the chain of key events without revealing too many details to the audience. This is used often in this particular type of genre as something always needs to be hidden from the audience. In our thriller opening, the contrast of light and dark was a key part of our thinking and it turned out rather well. The lamp lit actions of the photo shuffling can be juxtaposed with the dark scenes of our antagonist when the burning of the three photos. The use of the darker scenes are stereotypical of the thriller genre and in our opening adds to the darkness and mysteriousness that surrounds the antagonist. Another key aspect of the opening was editing and our use of editing once again helps our opening conform to the forms and conventions of real thriller products. Editing is a combination or separation of either very long or very short edits. Directors tend to hold long edits as this creates a sense of tension. Therefore, panning and tracking shots are used on the locations and this helps build the audience's knowledge that something is going to happen. However, they are unsure of what it is. The audience are often left confused by short, violent cuts as key details are always hidden which would reveal the entire plot to the narrative. However, glimpses of events which may start the story are left untold. For instance, the audience may be left unsure as to who it was holding the knife. In our opening, much like the use of lighting, there is a juxtaposition used in our editing between the very long and very short edits, which once again leads to a sense of unease within the audience and has them asking questions about the antagonist and setting, etc. The establishing short snappy shots of the photographs laid out on the table create a somewhat confusing and flashing image of the actions of the antagonist, while in contrast our long establishing shots allow the viewer to view the character in the flesh, to view the background setting and it allows them to build a picture in their head. The transition between short and long edited edited shots keeps the viewer's mind active as to what is occurring and is a stereotypical feature of real thriller products. The next element of the thriller opening was characters, or in our case, character. In our opening, we intentionally used a middle-aged man to conform to the thriller genre and to compete with real products. Our thriller would have seemed unrealistic and amateur if we had used someone in our own age range. Furthermore, having an antagonist...
antagonist of a similar age to the target audience would have been risky and hard to make realistic and true. The mise-en-scene and props that our antagonist wore was key to the genre of the thriller. The bold black glasses, leather jacket, made our main character look all the more suspicious, daunting and scary. Furthermore, the long hair added to the slightly mad and dishevelled look of the antagonist. Our antagonist can be seen to relate to that of Silver in the most recent James Bond film, Skyfall. With his unique and uncomfortable character, we took great influence from this character to make our sufficient and parallel to past characters in the film industry who have had great success and conformed to the thriller genre. The fifth key element of a thriller opening, or any opening for that matter, is the audio and music. In our opening there is intentionally no speech which creates a mysterious and uncomfortable viewpoint of our, of our antagonist. The absence of speech in our opening creates sufficient background for our newspaper audio which plays throughout the duration of the opening, creating a great relationship with the visual aspects of the thriller and giving the audience slight clues as to what the opening may lead to later on in the film. The audio of a news tape makes our thriller very realistic and gripping, as the flippancy of the short, snappy scenes complement the fluctuating levels of sound which is, which is created by the use of a number of different news stories in one audio tape. The sound and audio of missing and murdered people conforms to the thriller genre, and paired with the visual aspects of the opening, causes questions to be asked about the setting, antagonist and props, etc. The setting of our thriller opening is situated in two places. Firstly, the table of the protagonist is the setting where the shuffling and sorting of the suspicious photos takes place. A seemingly normal area with unnormal activities, a true stereotype of the thriller genre and commonplace in many real products. Our second and main setting is an open grass field area where the fire is placed. The field and grass area can be seen to contrast with the home style setting of the table and influences the juxtaposition of light and dark. The dark scenes of the field adds an eerie suspense to the opening which are commonplace in thriller films. The fire is a key part of our opening and is used to burn pictures that the antagonist holds. The use of the open grass and minimalist setting creates emphasis on the fire and the antagonist, which lets the viewer hone in on the key features of the visuals of our opening. Our setting overall is simple, to let the key features of the opening shine through purely without disturbing our clean camera shots and angles.